Hi. Now what we've got here is a typical question on hypothesis testing. Not necessarily the easiest topic for a lot of people, but uh, what I'll do is I'll run through the work solution on this one. Now there's two methods that we can apply to solving questions like this. And in this particular video, I'm going to show you one method, the probability method, and the other method is the critical region method. And you can see that video if you're looking at this question on my website, examsolutions.net. Okay, so uh, let's just read through this, see where we're going with it. We've got that David claims that the weather forecasts produced by local radio are no better than those achieved by tossing a fair coin and predicting rain if a head is obtained or no rain if a tail is obtained. He records the weather for 30 randomly selected days and the local radio forecast is correct on 21 of these days. Now we've got to test David's claim at the 5% level of significance and state our hypothesis clearly. Now in this question I notice that we haven't got a random variable to find. So I've got to define a random variable and I'm going to say let x be the random variable number of days the forecast is correct. And I've got to decide what kind of distribution that x follows, so where x is distributed. Well, what we've got here is a finite number of trials where if David throws a coin, it's just going to be either heads or tails. So we've got two outcomes, true or false, head or tails. And there's a finite number, 30, and so what I've got here is a binomial model, okay? A binomial model where n is going to be 30, and if David is correct, then we've got p, the probability of success, will be 0.5. But we're testing this hypothesis, so I'm going to say that h0 is going to be that p, the probability of success, is going to be a half. What it would be for getting a head or a tail. Okay. Now, having got that, okay, let's just have a look at what we've got here if HO is correct. We have got 30 days, so there could be no days where the forecast is correct, or there could be 30 days where the forecast is correct. If p is equal to a half, then we would be expecting 15 days to be forecast correctly. Half of the 30, obviously. But we have seen the observed value is that 21 days the local radio forecast is correct. So our observed value is 21. So 21 is obviously up here somewhere. And the question is, that tells us that maybe P is greater than a half. Okay, so as our alternative hypothesis, H1, we're going to take P as being greater than a half. And we're testing this at the 5% level of significance. So I'm going to have alpha, which is the symbol I use then for the level of significance is going to be 5% or 0.05. Okay, so we've got this. Now, having said that, how am I going to do this test? Well, I'm going to reject HO, and I'd always write something like this when I'm doing hypothesis testing. I'm going to reject HO if the probability that x is greater than or equal to 21 given that HO is true, okay, turns out to be a value less than 0 0.05, our significance level here. So that's the kind of thing I'm going to work with. 
So all we do now is just work this out. So I'm just going to put here now the probability of x being greater than or equal to 21 given that HO is true. In other words, we're assuming then that P equals a half is going to be worked out as 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 20. I'm doing this because I know that I'm going to be using the cumulative binomial tables in a moment. So remember the cumulative binomial tables always work out probability less than or equal to a given value. So that's why I did this. So all I need to do now is work out what this probability of being less than or equal to 20 given that HO is true. In other words, that P equals a half. And I can do these from the tables. Now I've got an extract that uh, I got from my binomial cumulative uh, tables. I looked under N being equal to 30 and X equaling 0 and I went down that column where we've got 0.5 as the probability P. And when I got to 20, I found that it was 0.9786. So we've got 1 minus 0.9786. And what does that come to? It comes to 0.0214. And this value is less than the 5%, less than 0.05. And we said that we would reject HO if the probability of being more than 21 okay, was less than 5%. In other words, this is an extreme value. So, therefore, this is a significant result. It's a significant result, meaning I'd want to reject HO. In other words, I'm thinking that P is now greater than half. And so what this can be summarized as is that it's significant. I'm going to reject HO. P is greater than half. And I would write that there is evidence to suggest that David's claim then is not correct. OK, so this is one way that you can do this question. The other way is to find a critical region and test to see whether your observed value 21 is in the critical region or not. And as I said at the beginning of this video, if you're on my website examsolutions.net, you should be able to see the alternative version for this question. Well, I hope that's been of some use to you in doing it by this method.